Good morning. Welcome to the chill spot. Welcome. <laughs> I'm oh, I, I, I didn't know. Am I doing the introducing today? Okay. No, I already said Well, welcome. I'm Ed. <laughs> and this is my friend. Corinne. Oh, I didn't know if you wanted a different name. Oh, well. You only have one personality, right? Yeah, I oh, do. Okay, never kind mind. of a stick I'm so sorry. You just threw me off guard with the whole thing. I'm just trying to... You know. Well, I'm glad you called yourself Ed because actually tomorrow is International Day of the Elderly. So Ed can be abbreviated for Elderly That's, Day as Ed. There you go. So welcome, Ed, to the show Thank and you. Uh, have a good celebration tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I will. But this day started in 1990. Um, the United Nations General Assembly designated October the 1st as the day to honor our elderly. And they, you know, it's kind of sad because we should be honoring them every single day, not just certain days Absolutely. of the month or yeah. certain time of the year. But um, some interesting facts that I found is one of every 10 persons is 60 years or older. And by 2050, one of three will be 60 or older. That's crazy. That is crazy. It is. I'm not at that age yet, but it, it kind of blows my mind that our society is filled with elders and we really need yeah. to start um, taking care of them because we have a t-shirt in the pro shop that says, if we don't, who will? And I mean, that that's the truth. If we do not um, come together and take care of, our, there's a fly flying around here. I know, I've named him. <laughs> you named him. Mm -hmm. And um, if we do not take care of them, um, they're going to be, we're going to be in trouble later because um, we are going to be an elder one of these days. Yes, and uh, you know, what's sad is that people don't appreciate mm -hmm. until they're older. Exactly. You, you don't appreciate things that, you know, I've lost both my grandparents, my parents, and for many years I didn't have the appreciation I have now for them. I would give anything for them to be here and me be able to take care of them right but it unfortunately until i got to be you know past 30 which i know i lied earlier and said i was 29 but <laughs> unfortunately until i started kind of maturing mm -hmm. and now i sit and think of all the stories my grandfather told from the war that i would give mm -hmm. anything to hear those stories again my grandmother constantly telling me how she walked up a mile of snow carrying what you know, and this is true stuff this isn't she didn't make this up but you know how when you're a kid mm -hmm. you use those stories but your parents had actually right. my grandparents had actually these were le legitimate stories and i said i me and Lori actually took a drive let's see what's today monday and we actually drove through a neighborhood where my grandparents used to live and it was just all the memories that flooded back. Memories. So I am very, I, I wish that I had them back so that I could just spoil them and take care of them. Unfortunately, we don't appreciate them like we should when they're here. No, no we shouldn't. And as CNAs, um, take the moment um, tomorrow to reach out to um, your residents, your clients, and your patients that you may be taking care of um, tomorrow. And um, just tell them that you appreciate them. It's harmless. It's painless. Um, it's not going to cost you anything to reach out and um, to hold their hand. Some of the are, best things yeah, are free. It is. Just loving on somebody and letting them know how they're appreciated. It's free. It is. Smiling. It's, mm -hmm. And it's um, it's cheap. It's, you're not going to break your pocketbook exactly. by, by showing kindness. So. Just reach out to them. Um, if you have if you have parents that are still living, mine are gone, and and yours is gone now. Um, my grandparents are as well. 
please reach out to um, your elders that are in your family and let them know that you care and uh, that you appreciate them and they are an important part of um, your family. Well, we don't realize sometimes is that while we're busy working day to day, mm -hmm. going out to dinner, taking your kids, your, whatever you're doing, which is what they did for right. us. But what we don't realize is sometimes they sit home alone mm -hmm. and they have no one all day long. Then evening rolls around and, you know, just that, that phone call, even if you can't get by or you can't, right. you know, there's that phone call. There's that, hey, mm -hmm. I just wanted to say I love you. Even if, right. do you know that that two seconds to them that you took out of your day means so much to them? Mm -hmm. Whereas you, it's just part of your, you know, hey, I'm, I'm busy. I'm running right. here. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And I actually have a lot of customers that I check on that are older and not, not by any, they're not, you know, right. but anywhere from 70 to 90 that, and I, I make it a point. I got off with one on the phone this morning before, and it's, I make a point to just check on them just, and you know what? It means so much to them. It does. Just that, Hey, just wanted to say hi. It does. There, I hear CNAs talk all the time about um, you know, the lack of respect that um, you do not receive working as a CNA. So think for a moment and um, realize um, just a second of, a you know, a second in your day. It... Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, if, if you guys could see what we just see, yeah, that's we why know. I went off the train of Oh, thought. yeah, this is what's going on right now. But, so, you know. um... What I was trying to say was before I got tongue tied and lost myself for a moment, I'm having an elderly moment. Don't worry, I'll call you later. Check on call you. Call me later and check on me. Just um, show them respect. Um, treat them like you would like to be um, treated. Put down your phone and reach out to them on a personal note, especially to your parents. Stop by and just, you know, say hi, Mr. Jones or Mrs. Jones. How are you doing today? I made you a fruit cake. I wanted to drop it by because all, we all know they like fruit cakes. That's I right. mean, hello, that's just part of. I know that I'll like fruit cakes that's someday. Right. I don't right. right now, but I think in like 20 years, I might like fruit cakes. Yeah. So. And uh, till then, uh, when you come back and see us again, Remember, Ed, are you ready? I'm ready. You, you matter. matter.